If you want to create absolutely stunning AI generated images that are similar in quality to Mid Journey, absolutely free and nearly unlimited, this video is for you. So strap in, we're gonna take a look at the new Stable Diffusion, which is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna tell you about it, then I'm gonna show you how to use it, and then we're gonna do some direct comparisons. Let's go. This is the blog post. Today, Stability AI announces SDXL, Stable Diffusion XL 0.9, a huge leap forward in AI image generation. So Stable Diffusion XL beta was released in April. And just a few months later, Stable Diffusion XL 0.9, produces massively improved image and composition detail over its predecessor. The rate of improvement of these open source models, whether you're talking about large language models for text or AI generative art models, these are absolutely huge gains every single day seemingly. And the best part about it, it's open source, it's completely free, and soon you'll be able to run it on your local computer. Despite its ability to be run on a modern consumer GPU, SDXL 0.9 presents a leap in creative use cases for generative AI imagery. First, let's take a look at some examples from the previous beta to this new version. On the left, we're seeing the beta. On the right, we're seeing the new version. These are the same exact prompts. And as you could tell, the left, it's pretty good. And the right is so much more detailed, so much more color. There's bokeh in the background. It just looks so much better. Let's take a look at the second image. The left, again, is the beta version and the right is the most recent release. A wolf in Yosemite National Park, chilly nature documentary film photography. So this one looks pretty good, although the wolf is far away and the details are not great. The log doesn't look super real, but if we look on the right, this one is fantastic, it's gorgeous. You can see all the little hairs, the details are phenomenal, the eyes look perfect. This is a really great image. Here's another one. Aesthetic, manicured hand holding up a takeout coffee, pastel chili dawn beach Instagram film photography. Now, to be honest, I think this left one looks really good. The only criticism I have is that you can tell that there are lots of fingers here, many more than what humans have. AI generative art has always struggled with hands. Mid Journey's new version has really solved it, but it looks like now Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 has solved it as well. This hand looks flawless. And the SDXL series offers a huge range of functionality that extend beyond basic text prompting. Image to image prompting, in painting, which is basically taking portions of the image and replacing it with generative art, and out painting, which is constructing a seamless extension of an existing image. Basically taking a little piece of the image and creating AI art extensions of what's around it. So how did they do it? The key driver of this advancement in composition for SDXL 0.9 is its significant increase in parameter count over the beta version. SDXL 0.9 has one of the largest parameter count of any open source image model, boasting 3.5 billion parameter base model and 6.6 .6 billion parameter ensemble pipeline. And the beta version for comparison has 3.1 billion parameters and uses just a single model. SDXL uses two models, clip models they're called, including one of the largest open clip models trained to date, which beefs up the processing power and you get upgraded realistic imagery, greater depth, and resolution up to 1024 by 1024. They're gonna be releasing a blog post talking about all of their advancements soon. Here's another image, absolutely stunning, galaxies in the background, a little galaxy in this bottle, a really beautiful image. Now here are the system requirements. Despite its powerful output and advanced model architecture, SDXL 0.9 is able to run on a modern consumer GPU. You need Windows 10 or 11 or a Linux operating system, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now that's not VRAM, that's just regular RAM, which 16 gigabytes most modern computers have. You need an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 20 graphics graphics card, which is kind of mid-range, lower mid-range graphics card, and eight gigabytes of VRAM. So very doable for many video cards and really a minimum requirement for any modern video game. Right now, you can use Stable Diffusion XL on ClipDrop, which is what we're gonna be testing it on today. And the API and Dream Studio customers can access it as of three days ago. So they'll be able to use it as well. SDXL 0.9 will be provided for research purposes only during a limited period to collect feedback and fully refine the model before its general open release. The code is available and you can already use the code today. So they've released the code. It's on the Stability AI GitHub page. 
You can download it. You can play around with it right now. I'm not going to do that, but maybe I'll create another video showing you how to get it up and running on your local computer. And what's next? Stability XL 0.9 will be followed by the full open release of SDXL 1.0 targeted for mid-July. So very, very soon. Now here's the Stable Diffusion XL model on ClipDrop's website. Let's take a look at some of these examples. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous. We have anime style right there realistic with a skeleton there, hyper realism right there, tilt shift effect, unbelievable. These images seem absolutely on par with mid journey. First, let's take a look at pricing. As I mentioned, it is completely free. Mid journey, you can't even test for free and you get 400 images per day. So it's basically unlimited. I don't know about you, but I've never even come close to generating 400 images in a single day. And with the free version, you get a bunch of other AI features, background removal, cleanup pictures, relight, which we'll take a look at, image upscaler, really cool. Now let's do some direct comparisons. I'm on the Mid Journey website. I'm gonna grab some of these prompts and then I'm gonna test it out and compare the images directly with ClipDrop. So first I'm gonna test this one out. Pillhead, Surreal, Surrealism, Abstract, Harry Clark. This one looks really, really cool. Now I don't expect the images to look very similar because they're trained on completely separate models. What I'm curious about is, is the quality equal? And so let's see. All right, there we go. Now, as I mentioned, the images really don't look like what I found on Mid Journey, but these are gorgeous. These are very artistic as well. I'd say even more artistic than what was on Mid Journey. I'm gonna show both of these on the screen right now so you can see a direct comparison. Next, I really like this fingerprint right here. So let's try to recreate it using SDXL, a large fingerprint stamp on paperboard. That's a super broad and generic prompt. So I suspect we're gonna get something very different, but let's see. All right, there it is. So it's black and white, but I think these look really good as well. Let's see what happens if I try to use blue and red in the prompt to get something more akin to what we found in Mid Journey. Okay, here we go. These all look fantastic. I'd say this one looks really close to the Mid Journey version. I'll put these both up on the screen now so you can see a couple versions versus Mid Journey. All right, last, I love this image of a lion and I think SDXL is gonna do a fantastic job on this one. So let's test it out. All right, take a look at this. I'd say this is okay. This isn't quite what I was asking for. It's much more artistic. I was looking for something much more realistic and it didn't seem to be able to achieve that, but that's okay. All right, these are absolutely stunning. This is exactly what I wanted. Hyper detailed, super realistic. Let's click into one of them. Look at that, you can see all the skin textures, you can see each hair and the eyebrows and the beard on the head. So this is so, so good. Now I wanna show you a couple other features. If you click in this top right, the three dots right here, you have a remove background feature, clean up imperfections, relight, enhance upscale, reimagine and uncrop. I wanna test out Relight. And what Relight allows you to do is exactly what it sounds like. You get to position lights in any direction on this face. So you can already tell the face is much different. So if I click over to the red light, I can easily increase the red light and in real time, you can see the lighting on his face change, the shadows change, everything, so cool. You can change the intensity, you can change the radius, and then you can change the distance. And so look at this, if I change the distance, you can actually see the light passing over his face and changing the shadows in real time. So if I turn the red light off completely and then I turn the blue light up, you can see that it changes the light. And the green one, you can add more lights to it. Look at that. So I'll move it around his head and in real time, the whole face is updated. And then you can turn the lights off and then download that image. So cool. So I am blown away by these images. The progress of this model is substantial. And just knowing that the 1.0 version is coming soon is so exciting. This is free, this is open source. Soon there's gonna be no limit because you can run it on your own computer. But for now, you'll have to deal with the 400 images per day, which is a ton. Mid Journey really has their work cut out for them. I'm so excited to see open source AI continue to proliferate, continue to get Get better at such a rapid clip. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.